I've done what's in my bag videos in the past, but this one's going to be a little bit different. This is the bag that I take whenever I have to go on a plane. This bag will fit all of my camera equipment that I need most of the time, and it will also fit in the overhead carry-on bag uh, container compartment, which is incredibly nice because you don't want to take all of your nice expensive camera equipment and put it below the plane and check it because you never know what could happen. So this is what I take with me on a plane. So the first compartment is on top and I'm sure you can guess exactly what this is. This is where you put your laptop. Um, simple, that's pretty much the place you put most laptops in most camera bags. Um, so yeah, not much stuff. So you zipper this bad boy open. And by the way, this is called a Manfrotto. I don't know the uh, style number off the top of my head, but I will put it below in the information below if you are interested. There's a Manfrotto bag, and you open it, and all the good stuff. First things first, the black rapid strap. Never leave home without it, and this is uh, incredibly true. Uh, I have a kind of story about this whenever I didn't have it. Um, this is about a month or so ago, and it sucked. How you guys who don't use these or don't use some type of strap uh, where it's connected together can you just have regular two camera straps on, on either arm? I don't know how you do it. Um, yeah, it's crazy. It's nuts. So that's the first thing that goes on top. Uh, lately, I've been traveling to lots of IndyCar races uh, shooting. So on top here is my IndyCar vest that you have to have um, to shoot. Um, you have to be wearing a vest, so that's right on top. Um, start off with a couple bodies. I have a D750 here. Normally I have another D750 on this side, but that's recording right now, so I've replaced it with a 7100. But like I said, normally it's a 750 right there. And then on this side, I have my D610. That's kind of in the same compartment as the little blower. Always good to keep your camera nice and clean. Uh, on top of this compartment, I have a flash. Um, you always have to have a flash, even if you're outside, um, if somebody's wearing a hat, or depending on where the camera's at, what you have to shoot. It's always nice to have some fill light, so it's always nice to have a flash there. And then a couple lenses. The Workhorse 7200, use this in probably 90% of the photos that I take. Um, it's the Workhorse, it's wide as 70. As long as 200, it's great for sports, but it's great for portraits, it's great for events, weddings. Um, 7200 is the way to go. If you were to buy one lens, if I had to take just one lens with me, it would be the 7200. Um, like I said, it's the workhorse where you get most of your photos with. Uh, 14 to 24 goes right in here, much wider. Um, I don't get, I don't use that as much, um, but whenever you do need it. You have to go 14, you have to go that wide, it's really nice. It's nice like if I, you're shooting uh, sports like I shoot a lot and you're either on pit lane um, and you're getting like, a conversation between two drivers or if you're shooting uh, basketball down below the, below the hoop, kind of shooting up at it. Uh, football, you can get huddles, all kinds of good stuff for the 14 to 24. Then you have, I have my 300, 2.8 here. Um, if you're not shooting sports, there's really no reason to have that. Uh, but if you're shooting sports, especially outdoor sports, uh, it's really nice to have a 300. Let's see here. Du -du -du. I have a, what is this, 24 to 85. Yeah, 24 to 85 here. Because I don't have a 24 to 70, this is nice uh, to kind of spread the distance between the 14 to 24, which goes 24 at the long end, and then my 70 to 200, 70 at the wide end. So a 24 to 85, I don't use this very often, but if you're kind of getting into a situation where you don't know what you're gonna have to need, um, and you can only have two bodies with you, a 24 to 85, uh, and probably a 7200 is nice, um, just because some, sometimes the 14 to 24 can't quite get you where you need to get, so that's kind of a, like a safety net lens, I guess I would call it. Um, a uh, mouse, obvious what this is, a mouse uh, to use with your uh, laptop. Nice whenever you're editing that we don't have to use um, the little pad thing, which can be kind of a pain in the butt. I bring with me a Loom Cube. Um, 
uses very, very rarely, but it's nice to have either A, on a shoot, or B, even if you're not shooting, uh, if you're shooting uh, somewhere where it's dark, and even if you just need to look around your bag, it's nice to have, it can get super bright. Uh, but you can do some cool things with it too, especially at nighttime. Um, so Loom Cube is always in my bag, mainly because it's just so small. It's on a little, little Joby tripod, it's so small, why not take it, super light. Really no reason not to have it. Uh, here, just a little, uh, the mic, whenever we shoot the IndyCar races, the photo team, um, we're all connected, we all have uh, radios on to, to uh, talk to each other. Uh, whenever we're different places throughout the course, we also listen to race control, so we know what's going on with the races. So we just have our own little uh, walkie so we can talk back and forth with each other. To have that. Battery charger, obvious. Although I found that rarely do I have to charge my batteries, um, especially on a race weekend, even though I'm shooting 10 hours a day for three or four days, most of the time I can get by without charging a battery. Uh, I have a battery grip on all my cameras, so I have two batteries in each. That obviously helps. Um, but sometimes I will use, like for example, I will use my 7750s on like a 300 or a 200 to 400 or a 600 millimeter lens or 500. And so I will use that a lot. So sometimes whenever I burn through lots of images, if I'm in a corner and I tend to use that same camera a lot, sometimes uh, what I'll do is I'll just take a battery out of a, out of a different camera. And I rarely need this on a race weekend, but in case you do need it, you have to have it with you. Uh, you can't go anywhere, especially for a long trip without a uh, uh, battery charger. The weather case, the, or the weather cover for my case, um, again, I've been out in the rain with this and I haven't used the cover and it's been perfectly fine, but they give it to you, so might as well just keep it just in case you do need it. Up here in the zipper pouches, got some gum, got a pin, always have to have pins. I like to be really organized whenever I'm out shooting, so uh, sometimes you can keep, it's nice to keep schedules like on, a, on the actual laptop, but I like writing stuff down so I can mark it out. That's just kind of old school, um, but you always need a pin. You never know if you're going to need it. And then a lens pin, nice to clean your lenses and wipe off your lenses. In this one, I have uh, some business cards. I have a backup uh, memory card just in case something goes wrong with one of my others. I always keep two memory cards in all my cameras, and depending on what I'm shooting, I'll do different things with them. I'll either um, copy, so the same image as in both, I'll shoot raw to one, JPEG to the other, or use one as an overflow, just depending on what I'm shooting, but it's always nice to have backup um, memory cards. Again, similar to what I was talking with the, with the Loom Cube, but this is even way smaller than a Loom Cube. They're so small and light, uh, they're easy to just slip in somewhere, so you never want to be without. I've got some Advil for headaches. This zipper, I've got a couple redundant things. I've got two uh, memory card readers. I only need one most of the time. Sometimes I'll use two if I absolutely have to, but probably only use one. But it's nice to have one in case somebody else needs one and theirs fail. Um, I've got a couple thumb drives for transferring images. And then in this one, I've got some weather protecting. Um, I, they have, they make nicer ones, um, all kinds of nice ones you can find out there, uh, this more, um, uh, more rugged material to use, uh, for shooting in the rain, but I just like using the, kind of the cheap, uh, the see-through plastic, uh, rain covers. They work fine for me, and then if they get, most of the time I can reuse them several times, but if they get too nasty, I can just toss them, uh, away, especially if it's raining too bad, I can kind of toss them without having to, um, worry about it. Getting all my other camera stuff kind of mildewy, moldy. As you know, rain slash water and camera gear does not mix, so you want to be uh, super careful of that. This bag is empty. That is about it. I've got oh my tripod. Well, on this side first, I've got a little uh, bike, uh, bike, um, bike lock. I very rarely use it, but it's nice to have on there if you're in kind of a sketchy place and you can just kind of um, lock your bag up to something, either you know something on the wall or a table or a chair or something. These could be cut, your bag could be cut, but it's just one, one more thing that a thief or somebody would have to do to get to your stuff. Um, like I said, I rarely use it, but it's nice to have if something's ever a little too sketchy. Uh, here on my zipper are my earbuds. 
kind of this goes back to whenever we're on radios together. Um, I don't know how many of you out there go to races at all, but Indy cars are extremely loud, especially when you get 25, 30 of them out there together. And that's on top of the crowd and all that kind of stuff. So we have these earbuds, similar to what the race car drivers use. They're actually molded specifically to your ear, um, so where you can put it in just like that. And it's noise canceling, um, so that obviously, not 100% noise canceling, but it does a good enough job that you can't really hear the race cars as well, um, which is nice in terms of protection for your ears, but it's also nice whenever you're actually trying to hear what is being said on the radio. And also, you don't have to worry about whenever you're walking around, you know, you're holding, uh, for me, my, um, my Black Rapid, I have two cameras there, plus I normally have one on the tripod, a longer lens, a 300 or longer on my tripod. Last thing you want to worry about is your earbuds kind of popping out or having a big heavy headset on. So these work out really well. They just fit right in your ears like that. And then, like I said, molded perfectly for your ears. So that is helpful. And then the final thing, I guess, is the monopod. Here, this one's a little longer, so I kind of had to rig it up a little bit to where it can, um, it can, it can hold it so it doesn't kind of drag on the ground whenever I'm pulling it. But most monopods, if you have a smaller one, will kind of just fit, or a tripod will fit right in here. And this would fit as well, but it would go way off the end over here. Uh, which I don't like, it's annoying to me, but also if you are taking this on a plane, it won't work it's just because it sticks out too far. So I just kind of rigged a little thing on here onto the zipper for the pack, um, and it works out perfectly fine. And also, I've been to places before, uh, last year, first uh, football game of the season that I shot, Indiana versus Ohio State. I forgot my monopod, so I had to handhold my 300 the whole game, and if you've ever had to do that, it sucks. Um, I forgot it other times before. My memory sucks, so it's always strapped on there. I can't forget it, and that is incredibly nice. So, that pretty much um, is it for what I bring on a plane whenever I go out of town to shoot a sporting event or really in any other event. If some for some reason I go fly somewhere and I'm not shooting race cars or a sport that I need my 300, I'll take my 300 out and it leaves me some more room in there to either bring other camera gear or I can fit some more shoes or clothes or whatever need be in there. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got a little bit of something out of it. Uh, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can put them below or you can message me. Thanks for watching.